Hello Taurus, welcome to your intuitive new love reading. So this is specifically for those of you singles who is waiting and is wondering when am I going to meet this person and what can we tell you about this person that Taurus is going to be involved with next romantically. Now keep in mind this may be someone, Taurus, you may have already come across, met, dated, talked to, had a thing with in the past. And if that's the case, maybe this is your confirmation that you've already met the partner you seek, that you've already met the one. Others of you, maybe you're like, uh, yeah, none of that checks it for me. I don't know anybody of that sort, of that like. And they'll this for you. Well, you all know that this is going to be what's coming in for you. And then, I'm going to tell you, based off the energies that I pick up in this reading, we'll describe and see what we can get about this new person, the person that Taurus is going to fall for, the relationship Taurus is going to be in with who or the person that Taurus is already in love with. I hope that makes sense, but I just had a few more cards here to get out. There were a lot of jumpers here for you, Taurus, so this is definitely going to be a handful of you. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to make sense. If you just, if only a few of these boxes get ticked for you, then take it. Not all of the things that I pick up on will be your person, but I will tell you guys um, what I'm able to get, what spirit wants me to see, what I can intuitively gather right now for Taurus and love. Or Taurus's potential new love okay so I'm already here saying Taurus that your person is going to have strong water references okay cancer Scorpio Pisces I'm also getting another Taurus for some of you this person may have spent I don't know why I'm kind of getting spent years at sea even maybe in the army in the navy in the uh, military they like water okay they are a very athletic um, maybe they're a swimmer they like to dive deep sea fishing Okay, go scuba diving. They may have spent years off on an island, maybe for studies, maybe for research. Maybe that's just where they grew up. I feel like your person has moved or relocated a couple of times. I don't know why that's coming to me, but let's continue and see what comes on for Taurus, okay? All right, Taurus, the person that is, um, okay, I do have here, it's interesting. We have the Eight of Cups. You have the co-create. I have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. With the Page of Wands, the Four of Swords, the High Priestess. We also have Scorpio here. I have the Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and I also have the Knight of Cups. Okay, you and this person are going to get into a relationship, Taurus, for sure. But it's interesting here with the Eight of Cups. This could have been somebody who you've already dealt with in the past. Let's keep going and see. I'm also getting here that this person may have three siblings, sisters. <clears throat> Or like the grandmother, mother, and granddaughter are all kind of, you have a picture where all three of them are together. Okay, so we have somebody here. I'm kind of getting your person is an entertain, in the entertainment business. Taurus, your person can have auditioned. Um, not all of you. They could also be Capricorn, Virgo is coming out, strong earth signs. 
We have water signs, new life, fork in the road, the nine of cups, defeat card temperance, Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, three cups, the star, we have death coming out again. We have three cups coming out again. The star, we have the fool, we have the magician, the sun, we have Leo here again. We have the moon, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, <clears throat> Taurus, I'm going to describe to you guys this person. A lot of energies are coming through, okay? Your person can be a gamer. They have a thing with um, IT, maybe computer programming, maybe, um, you know, they're really good with computers or they're a techie of some sort. It says hacker, but I don't think a person's a hacker. I just think, like, you know, they're really good with maybe designing there maybe computer programmer it could be coding I'm also getting they spend a quite a bit of time on the computer I'm also getting that your person plays an instrument piano guitar um, any kind of instrument but they're he they're more of a musician or an artist Okay, I'm getting your person's an intuitive. Okay, especially here with the moon. Your person is really deep, Taurus. If you get to know this person very well, perhaps you have or you picked up from this person, there's a lot of things that they don't really share with you. And you feel like at times, like, they can't just come out and say things to you. They kind of can't make up their mind about what they want to do. <clears throat> They've had some defeats in their life where they have actually dropped out of something, dropped out of school, or maybe didn't finish something in their life. They feel like this was a huge disappointment for them, and they tried to um, reach that in ways of venturing out to other avenues in their life. I feel like your person is also very, they have a very addictive personality, could be a gambler, could have had addictions, money, sex, drugs, alcohol, overworking could be an addiction, okay, just maybe they just have this like maybe a very addictive personality, something that they try to fix is also what I'm getting here with the hermit, they used to maybe be a heavy smoker, heavy drinker, but it lessened here, especially with the devil, we have very strong earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I'm also seeing here they may have actually lost a little bit of money. They could have been a gambler. They could have really invested into a property or made an investment that exactly didn't work out. But I'm also getting here, Taurus, this is a person who you have already dealt with in the past. They feel like it's a defeat. Okay, they feel like with you right now, you guys may not actually be talking. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I keep getting this, you know, death card, this emphasis that some of you have already met this person, that there was an ending here between you two. You may have disconnected. They felt like it was, they were defeated by this. And the two of you may have stopped talking here. They may have actually started dating somebody else or you have. And then maybe living different in different environments right now. Someone may have actually moved away since your separation. Okay. I'm actually getting kind of next to pine trees. Very rural, very outdoorsy kind of person is in your person's energy. They also are a huge romantic. A romantic person at heart. See how I was getting here with a new life? I am really picking up for Taurus. You have already met this person. And you guys are the first ones that I'm actually kind of getting here. Where, um, you know, for some of you, this is someone who you have already met or is currently already dealing with. Or someone who you have a, like a little thing with in the past. Okay, there was an intense connection here. But it didn't work out. We had here four in the road someone didn't know what to do someone couldn't make up a decision someone left something happened between the two of you the death card and ending with the high priestess losses and hurt but for others of you this is also a message for those of you Tauruses who have not come across this person yet 
you and them, this you're totally new. You're someone who they never really, um, you know, you're not their usual type. And with you, they feel like they're beginning somewhat of a new life. Okay. Come, you know, there's this like new beginning, you know, this like feeling of being a kid, feeling reborn and alive again. And some of you, this is in a fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Sagittarius here. Some of you, this person could be a screenwriter, a producer, someone who goes to auditions, someone who also enjoys movies. Okay, I'm kind of getting here. They're kind of in this. Um, I don't know if they are an entertainment business, if they're a producer or executive. I am strongly getting that they have, um, you know, it's like in the creative or theater, theater, theatrical arts, theater arts. Okay. Some of you, this person is a skilled uh, day trader. They may do that on the side. Okay, I'm sitting here. This person st um, sits a lot, quite often. They either work from home. Okay, they either work from home or they have their own online business or they do a lot of their work online. Okay, they have to do a lot of things on the computer, which we all do these days. But maybe some of you guys will get it when I say this. The, they do spend quite a bit on the computer. Okay, so they're just, they're not, I guess, not like a painter, a plumber, or maybe a construction worker. But I'm really getting more of a, you know, someone in the IT. Um, someone in the music they definitely play an instrument here they're definitely very musically gifted okay with the theater theatrical arts they really like to make movies or they really enjoy movies um, they are also someone who is um, someone who's an overachiever Okay, when they want something, they want to win. They see themselves as kind of like you want, they want to be the very best of whatever it is that they do, and they usually set to accomplish whatever it is that they put their mind on. But there is a huge disappointment of something that didn't work out for them in the past, which still kind of bothers them today. Yeah, especially here with the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Swords with the Ruin. This person feels they, they have a little bit of a darkness to them. It's not like a scary darkness. We all have a darkness to ourselves. But I'm really getting like very scorpionic vibes. Okay, like this person has um, very deep, deep emotions. Like their emotions and their feelings run deep. Could be an INFJ. Okay, I'm telling you guys. Um, or they could be a therapist. You know, they really help people, counsel people. They are a great therapists, maybe for you. Um, I feel like this is a person who, Taurus, maybe if you find yourself, you know, going through something, I'm really getting like this person is a really good listener, someone who's really good to talk to, someone who can really help you clear your mind or that carries a really positive attitude. But what's funny is that within themselves, they carry this like innate heaviness, eight of cups, ten of swords. Like what they're really good at helping people do, they're not so much good at doing it for themselves and they really need their time alone. I feel like this person is not exactly extroverted. It's not exactly introverted, but they do really prioritize time alone and they really prefer being alone okay there's a little bit of darkness to them it's kind of sexy okay with the beginning with the fool and the star and the moon I do really feel like you guys are star-crossed lovers here Taurus okay we have the star but we have the moon and we have just like you know it feels so weird the way you two meet each other you guys may have crossed paths in a very weird like the way you two meet it's like right when you're ending something they're going through something you guys cross paths and I feel like when you guys first started off or hit it off it's really like a bad timing but both of you guys couldn't be more excited about this new beginning. We have the fool and we have like this, you know, very childlike spirit. And it's so funny. Wasn't I just saying the star, the moon, the sun? Okay. We have the sun. We have the moon. And we have the star. Taurus, I really feel like in your reading, this is maybe a twin flame, a soulmate. This is a divine destined 
person for you, okay? Someone who you have unfinished business with from the past, some of you, or they just have very strong Scorpio placements in their moon, sun, or rising sign, okay? I'm also getting they have tattoos on their back. This person has a close friend or they are really close with, they're very selective. I see here with three, they have maybe three best friends there, maybe they have three siblings, okay? There's three significant people in their life, maybe this is who they've always really stuck close to. This could be, you know, a sister, a friend, their parents, I don't know. It's just always been the three or four of them. With the Nine of Cups, this person has been infatuated. This person's infatuated with you from the beginning. I feel like you guys may just, oh my God, I was just saying star-crossed lovers and Taurus. We have this red strings of fate here, okay? And that really means, you know, um, legend has it, you know, these two people who are destined for each other in this lifetime to get together, they have universe kind of ties, you know, this string, this red this red string of fate that they're going to be destined partners they are going to meet again regardless of what's happened in the past that these two people were meant to fulfill their soul contract with each other in this lifetime there are a lot of things that definitely went on between the two of you there are a lot of karma lessons there's a profound like an awakening shared between the two of you here okay and i have the queen and the king of wands you guys definitely are soulmates here Okay, you guys couldn't be more, um, this is, you know, from two different decks. You guys see that? From two different decks, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the King of Wands. And from two different decks, we have also the Knight of Cups. Okay, and the strong water energy, fire energy, they may have different placements. I'm also getting here, this is a person who is a romantic at heart. I'm also getting for some of you guys, this person has a sleeve. Okay. And kind of getting like a, this is maybe like their usual attire. They're very casual and laid back in jeans and, you know, loose fitting shirt. Maybe like an artist, a musician, maybe like rock, maybe like punk music. But they have this like very, um, they're very charming and very romantic. I'm also getting they're very seductive, okay? There's a lot, I mean, a lot of people find him him or her attractive. And there's a little bit of insecurity issues here. I feel like you guys are going to meet later on in life, in 35 to 40 years old, okay? And when this person comes, um, I mean, you, I don't know if they're maybe 35 in their early, their late 30s, early, mid 40s, whatever. But I'm kind of getting like this person's already very matured. They have like a very mature, maybe this is what I mean. They have like a old spirit. Um, what do you call that? They have a, um, you know, even if they're young, they just have a very old um, you know, not an old spirit. What do you say when, you know, they're very knowledgeable, very cultured, very, um, it's like they're wiser than their years, okay? And when they come to us, I feel like this is a person who's looking to settle. They don't like to play games, though they do like a catch. They like to chase. Um, and they think you're a catch, but there's a little bit of where the two of you guys are. Like, there's a lot of, like, newness here, okay? With the fool, with the fool, you guys may feel, like, very unsure about each other when you first meet. But the affection, the attraction, the connection is intense right away. Okay, going back to this uh, Red Strings of Fate. And then, I could be saying it wrong, but you guys get it. You guys get what I mean here. Okay, what else am I seeing here for Taurus? I have co-create and keep seeing a leopard, a cheetah, or a lion. Some of you guys, this is um, a Leo. Okay, I'm also getting here that this person may be... Um, you know, the year of the tiger or, you know, cat is maybe their spirit animal. I'm also seeing an owl. So full of wisdom. Okay. Regardless of how old this person is, they act more mature or they have like this, like, you know, this wise sage in them. Like this is like, you know, especially with the hermit card coming out, you know, like they have this, like, you know, they, they, 
an old soul. There we go, an old soul, okay? But like, um, regardless of their age, regardless of their age, there's just like this feeling, like when you guys cross paths, like there's, I've been feeling like a spark, okay? Regardless of like right away, maybe right when you guys touch, you got, touch each other, it's like a spark. You guys may actually like get, um, you know, when you touch it, it's like a lot of static, okay? You guys may, when you guys come across each other, you guys, um, you know, shock each other a lot. And there's a lot of, um, yeah, hot, intuitive feelings going on over here, here at Taurus. They, they are romantic, okay? I'm seeing picnics here. You guys both like to cook, baby. They like to cook. I surprise you with picnics. They like to do these little odd little things for you just to surprise you, okay? I do see here they maybe like cook for you, have like a surprise dinner for you, do something really sweet for you. This person is a romantic. I am getting that. He or she. What else? Yeah, I'm seeing here Leo. Okay. Some of you, it's a Leo. And they are very, um, they, I am getting here. You may have a child together, a boy. Okay. I'm um, also getting into a girl and a boy, maybe three. And maybe you guys will talk about this. They like to hunt. I don't know. They're really good with, um, they like to be outdoorsy. I think this person is really witty. They like to watch. They're the quiet, silent type. In your energy, Taurus, I'm really getting your person's the quiet, silent type. They really have your back. This person may at times get into bar fights. Okay, they may have like a little bit of a, um, you know, bad boy, bad girl past. Okay, they may play poker, they play cards. <clears throat> Yeah, I am really getting the same exact messages here. Let's see what else I get here. I'm really getting this person does play an instrument. I'm seeing the ram or the horns. So it could be a Capricorn here or a Taurus, um, a, an Aries. I also see here they have you know they're playing some instrument your person's very talented i feel like they what they want to do it's like they don't have a chance of doing they wish they could do their hobbies or whatever it is like as a career and they may be changing careers soon. like they're trying to figure out what they really want to do they'll hold a torch for you taurus Okay, they feel like after you, they will never actually be able to move on. They'll always try to look for you and another person, but you two are soulmates. Okay, I do feel like with you from the beginning, you guys will have, I feel like one person rejects the other because in this story alone, from this card, this girl rejects this guy. It could be the other way around to him rejecting her. But one of you, they, one of them is rejected in the past. But he does all these things. You know, he actually um, pretends to be a female so that he could be in her company. But only as soon as she finally opens up or he opens up to her, she realizes that, you know, before she just kind of shrugged him off, like thinking this is just like every other guy he's just like every other guy she's just like every other girl but once they kind of get to know each other she falls madly deeply truly in love with him and that's when he finally reveals to her like who he really is and he had actually already met her before but she turned him down or rejected him so there's a little bit of a story in the background between you and this person i'm kind of getting you guys may have rejected each other you you may have turned him away he may have turned you away guys may have actually broken up i'm staring at the tower here something may have actually happened between the two of you this person could also be a chef a work um um you know works in a restaurant restaurant industry restaurant business they could be um a musician I'm strongly picking up musician or they like photography or acting or maybe a stylist Okay, but I'm actually getting this person's really built. Okay, they take high priority of their um, body. 
they do like to go work out go to the gym and lift weights and for females you know just to do yoga or a lot of training like you guys are both equally very fit or like to be that way you guys really prioritize you know body training body mass body muscle it's very toned here and this is like you know i see you guys like really i mean throughout the ages this is you guys i'm seeing like a timeline a picture of here taurus you two are going to be together like i see here a female old age a male old age and i see the two of you when you guys were younger too it's like you guys are you know starting from young so you guys could have been in each other's life okay you may have known each other since you were little in grade school okay or you guys will meet each other um through maybe through a family member or maybe if you guys have children from a previous relationship your children will become friends <laughs> okay i'm also kind of getting that um i definitely get here yeah maybe one of you guys have children in the you know college or a teen uh, maybe younger but i do get that the two of you are soulmates here highly intuitive both of you okay the fork in the road i told you in the past or maybe in the present moment right now or maybe later on in the future you guys are going to be confused about each other i'm seeing this is like a destined thing the two of you um, are going to be very unsure about each other um, at one point in your life you might actually break up or separate a lot of loss a lot of painful a lot of healing here but both of you guys will find each other way back to each other you guys may actually break up twice or maybe it feels like you know 13 keep getting 13 to 15 so <clears throat> you know one to three years you guys may break up for one to three years some of you guys a little bit longer than that one to three months okay all right guys taurus this is all i have for you guys at this time while wow, your reading was pretty deep i didn't think it was going to be that long but sure a lot of cards came out for you guys taurus and this is what i have for you guys for the next person the person that you guys will be in a relationship with the love of your life new love um you know some of the energy some of the quality some of the things that spirit wants you guys to know about your person here today who you'll be in love with or who's in love with you something that you needed to know and in terms of matters of the heart you can go ahead and reach out for a personal reading should you guys want one i do have a lover special available for 33 dollars and 33 cents we can see if this is you know the person that you're with the person you have dealt with um is your person what spirit has to say the universe has to say about that connection all right taurus i'm gonna go ahead and end your reading bye for now i'll see you guys soon